Okay, so now we are going to look at how to create a similar geometry like this uh, from this object. So we will all add all the segments that are missing here. So you can see that there's a line here and a line here which is missing here. So we'll add those, all the lines that are here and we can accomplish that using one tool which is cut so if you go down and look for cut okay and then we can start cutting from you have to make sure that you the mouse icon changes because if you're here creates a different icon if you're here it creates a different icon if you're here it creates a di different icon you don't want to create multiple vertices you just need one so we'll click on that and then it doesn't matter you just have to click here and then you start sculpting the lines around so we will go through so what I'm doing is the middle mouse alt drag click and then again finish it off and then to get out of the cut tool I right click now we will do the vertical one so you click click at the edge then click on this side then you go all the way here and then when you go here this one will be automatically created so you don't have to click there you can directly click on top and then you click here and then you right click you see that the lines are all messed up but we will fix that later on so we'll continue to cut here 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 and then finish it off here one is remaining here so here you, here you can see one two three four and five polygons so we need to make it four so you click here so whenever you have to add one polygon, you have to create multiple polygons along that line. Let me be careful about how many faces you are creating. So you can see that now all the lines are created, but you can see that the lines are going all over and I'm going to show you a simple technique to fix this. So we will go to the vertex mode and zoom into the, you, you have to do this in the different viewports. So you can see that these lines, this has to be in one line. So I'm going to use the scale tool and simply click and drag until it becomes straight. And that's about it. So you do the same thing here. You click and drag in the Y axis it becomes straight. Now this one is not straight. So I'll select all these. I'll click and drag and make make them straight. Okay, you will have to do the same thing in the other viewports. So in the left viewport, these are not straight. I'll make this straight. You can do it a couple of times if you want. And then few lines have to be fixed here. So you scale it and you click and drag. Then do it a couple of times. So now the both the objects have the same geometry. Okay, so let us see how the mesh mode works here and how the mesh mode works here. Okay, so now both are same. So if so, Boolean will work if you have a simple geometry which you're not going to modify further but if you're going to modify geometry further then you will have to create four-sided polygons after you use the boolean operation or it is better to just start with the box and start sculpting your objects from there let us finish this chair I'll delete this one of these objects now I have this object so what we need to do is we need to work on the low poly model and then see how the high poly model looks 
like we did for the dumbbell in the past exercises. So I will copy this and I will say call it a reference. So when I select this and delete the mesh mode, oh well. Uh, this is a reference, so I'll add a reference to this one now. Uh, mesh mode to the reference. There it is. Took some time to find it. And then add two iterations. So we will modify this one. Uh, for example, if you select a vertex and move, you can see that the other one moves. So this is a reference of this. Now we'll make changes to this, and this will get affected. So now we need some we need smooth edges, but it should look uh, it has to have a clear geometry so we're going to add more lines to make that happen so let us go to the edge and select this edge and then we are going to ring the edge okay so all the vertices selected and then we are going to connect and drag it down okay so you get a nice flat base we'll select the edge again ring it and connect it again and this time it will move up We'll do the same thing in the middle here. I'll select this one, ring it, connect it, and it's minus, so the line is added here. And then you can see that it gives a nice edge there. So we'll do the same thing again, ring it, connect it. And you can see how surprisingly 3ds max understands what you're doing and it that first it went to this side and it automatically went on this side and then your model is taking shape now so we'll do the same thing so basically we are going to add a line on all the edges ring it connect it select again ring it and connect it to move it in the front okay so that gives us all the lines we need for this object. One more is needed on top here. So I'll select this one, ring it, and connect it. Okay, so it moves down. Okay, I'll take that one also. I will ring it and I will connect it on top this side positive and accept it so we got the basic shape of the chair now we can make this inclines for the chair to look real nice so you can just select these polygons you can make sure that all of these are selected by clicking here in the front view. Move it down. Here you can see that. 
creates that shape and then you can select the last two and eyeball it so it is at an angle going straight to finish that one okay we got the chair now we can add the cushion to the chair for that I will add a box I will use a box tool not a cube with some height move on top okay we will copy this here and call it a reference again and then we will add segments so two on this side maybe three on this side three on this side and one in the height okay we will add we'll convert this to editable poly this becomes editable poly also and then we will add a mesh mode to this one okay so we'll try to sculpt this so it looks uh, more organic something went wrong I think this was this is a editable poly I will copy it as a reference add a mesh mode modifier okay so I'm going to add a mesh smooth modifier to this one with two iterations and then we'll work on this make sure that this is getting affected all right so in the top view I'll select all the edges and scale it down Okay, then we'll move it down so you get that shape in the middle we'll move it This basically going to sculpt the cushion and we will select the, these vertices what I'll do is I'll select all of these and alt select the bottom ones so they get deselected so only top ones are selected and then we are going to add a chamfer and you can see that when you add a chamfer you get those holes we will extrude them inside ever so slightly oh, we are not extruding the edges but we'll have to extrude the polygons we'll select the polygon now what you will notice is that these polygons are not four-sided anymore okay so this is one two three four five and six sides so it's not four it is six 
but because uh, this geometry is not going to be modified any further and once uh, you add a mesh smooth modifier uh, it is going to convert your uh, 600 polygons into four sided polygons so that should be fine and i will show you uh, this geometry once i'm finished with this to explain how that works so i'll extrude this and it will go slightly inside okay to get that cushion design to it okay and then if you select this and if you go down and remove the iso line display now you will see that all these lines see how 3ds max has converted all these polygons to four sided so that would after adding the mesh smooth modifier that really solves your problem and now you get a organic hair uh, with a cushion on it if you think the cushion is too thick you can scale it down a little bit work with it whatever you think looks good okay and that concludes our tutorial so you looked at how to use the boolean operation and how to sculpt a chair uh, and when to use uh, boolean and when it is not a good idea to use the boolean keep tuned for more videos uh, coming up uh, happy learning